እንግዲህ ዛሬ በአናነት ከኤጂቢኤል ወይም ደግሞ አሊያንስ ግሎባል ከሚባል ድርጅት ጋራ ዋና ኦፊሱን ሄድኳርተሩ ዱባይ ካለ የባዮቴክኖሎጂ እና ጂኖሚክስ ድርጅት ጋራ ኤምኦዩ ምንፈራረምበት ቀን ነው በአናነት ኤምኦዩ የሚያተኩረው በባዮቴክኖሎጂ ጂኖሚክስ እንደዚሁም ደግሞ ባዮሜዲካል ሰርቪስ እና ምርምር ላይ በቀጣይ ተላዩ ስራዎችን ለመስራት ነው እንደዚሁም ደግሞ ኤጂቢኤል ወይም ግሎባል አሊያንስ ለመጀመሪያ ጊዜ በኢትዮጵያ ኦፊሱን የሚከፍትበትም ቀን ነው እንግዲህ ሮድ ማፕን ስናይ በጣም ሰፊና በተለያዩ ሴክተሮች ላይ ለውጥ ለማምጣት ዲዛይን የተደረገ ፍኖ ተካርታ ነው ይህን ፍኖ ተካርታ ከመተግበር አንጻር የገንዘብ አቅም ይጠይቃል የሰው ኃይል አቅም ይጠይቃል የኢንፍራስትራክቸር አቅምና እንደዚሁም ደግሞ የጥሩ የፖሊሲ ኢንቫይሮንመንት ይጠይቃል እንግዲህ የገንዘብ አቅምን በተለይ ደግሞ የኢንፍራስትራክቸር አቅምንና የሰው የማንፓወር አቅምን سنመለከት የሰው ኃይልን አቅም سنመለከት ብቻችንን ምንዘልቀው ነገር አይደለም ምክንያቱም ፊልዱ ዳይናሚክ ነው አዳዲስ ነገሮች በየጊዜ ይመጣሉ ስለዚህ ፓርትነርሺፕ ግድ ነው ስለዚህ ይሄንን ከመተግበር አንጻር ፓርትነርሺፕ የሚኖረውን ጠቀሜታ ጉልህ ጠቀሜታ ከግምት በማስገባት ነው እንግዲህ ከኤጂቢኤል ጋራ ዲስካስ የሚያደርግ ነው ሁለተኛው ነገር ደግሞ እነዚህን ነገሮች ከመተግበርና ከዘርፍ ተጠቃሚ ከመሆን አንጻር ትልቁ የተቋማት ቻሌንጅ ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ ያሉ ተቋማት ችግር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎችን የሚጨምራል ችግር የተለያየ ሰፕላይዎችን ኬሚካሎች ሬጀንቶችን ላብ ውስጥ ለመጠቀም እንደዚሁም ደግሞ እቃዎችን ከገበያ ላይ ማግኘት አለመቻል ነው በተለይ አዲስ አበባ ላይ እነዚህ አይነት ካምፓኒዎች በብዛት ስለሌሉ በተለይ ኢንተርናሽናል ካምፓኒዎች በብዛት ስለሌሉ ባዮቴክ እንደውም የለንም ማለት እንችላለን በብዛት ሎካል ካምፓኒዎች ናቸው የነዚህ የኤጂቢኤል ኦፊስ አዲስ አበባ መከፈቱ ትልቅ ተቀማይታ ይኖራል ማለት ነው ከቃቅርቦትም ሰርቪስንም ከማግኘት አንጻር እንደዚሁም ደግሞ ኬሚካል ኤጀንቶችንም ከማቅረብ አንጻር ላቡን እዚህ የዲኤንኤ ሴኩንሲንግ ላብ በኢትዮጵያ ባዮቴክኖሎጂ ኢንስቲትዩት በጋራ ከኤጂቢኤል ተወካዮች ጋራ ምን ኦፊሻሊ ኢናጉሬትድ የሚሆንበት ጊዜ ነው ስለዚህ ከዚህ በፊት ውጭ ሀገር ተልከውና አብዛኛው የኛ ሀገር ብዙዎቹ ምርምሮች ወደ ውጭ ይላከን ነው በዶላር ነው አስመርምርን ከዛ አምጥተን ነው እየተጠቀምን ያለ ነው እንግዲህ ሀገር ባላት በሌላ ታብት ትልቁ ምኛም ያው ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች የሚሰሩት አንደኛው ምርምር ስለሆነ በቀጣይነት የትልቁ የኛ ነገር የምርምር የሆነውን ቻሌንጅ ይቀርፋል ብለን ምናስበው በቀጣይ ለተላዩ ለግብርናም ለጤናም እና ለሌሎችም ነገሮች እነዚህ ነገሮች በመጠቀም የተሻለ ምርታማነት የሚሰሩት ምርምሮች ደግሞ በቀጥታ ለህብረተሰቡ ትርጉም ባለ ህይወት ሊቀይር በሚችል እኛ የታያዝ ነውንም እንደዚህ የመካከለኛ ገቢ እና ትራንስፎርሜሽንን ለማረጋገጥ ያግዛል ብለን ምናስበው እዚ እንግዲህ ኦፊስ መክፈታቸው እንደምታውቀው አገራችን በጣም በባዮዳይቨርሲቲ በተለየ መልኩ ልዩ ያላት ሀገር እንደመሆነች ስለዚህ ይሄ ደግሞ የትኛው ምንድነው የሚለው ነገር ካለየን ብዙ ጊዜ ጨበጣ ውስጥ ነው ማለት ነው። ኢኖ ቬሪ ዌል ታት ኤጂቢኤል ኢዝ ላርጀስት ዘ ላርጀስት ባዮሜዲካል ጌትዌይ ፕሮጀክት ኢን ማርኪንግ ማርኬትስ ኦፍ ዘ ሚደል ኢስት አፍሪካ ኤንድ ኤሺያ ዘ ግሩፕ ኢዝ ዴዲኬትድ ኢን ብሪንግ ኢንኖቬቲቭ ቴክኖሎጂስ ኤንድ ፕሮዳክትስ ቱ ቫሪየስ ዩዘርስ ኤንድ ኢን ማርኪንግ ማርኬትስ ኢን ዘ ሪጅን ኢን ዲስ ጉድ ኦልሶ ቱ ሪኮርድ ኦን ማይ ኢንስቲትዩት ቱ ካምፓይ ዳይቨርሲቲ ኢንስቲትዩት ስፔሻሊ ማይ ዳርቱና ፎር ዘ ፈርስት ቴፕያን ኢንስቲትዩት to purchase the next generation genomics technology myself from Illumina company a global genomics leader in 2015 since the time EBI and uh, Allen Global are very close partners is it is also our frequent and strong request to open a branch in Addis we understand that opening a new branch is not an easy task it leaves genuine understanding of HGBL group, as it's already said by Dr. Tamir. I am grateful by the efforts made by Mr. Amrula, as a good friend of me and my colleagues, and the GBL group as a company to open GBL Abyssinia. I wish to thank all the collaborators for the valuable contribution to the success of this day. The presence of all of us here signifies the importance of collaborative partnership with GBL to accelerate the research and the research outcomes in, in the country. I hasten to add that the benefits of GBL Abyssinia will only be realized when we receive effective, efficient, sustainable and quality services 
to which we are requesting a general support to help us to succeed in the area to which we are entitled. I wish you all many successes, some of your partnership, and I wish to Jubilee Labisina all the best in your future market growing in our country. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. We, we believe that, uh, that Ethiopia uh, will be uh, one of the leading African nations in the area of uh, science and technology. And we know uh, that our presence here will help us uh, grow. Uh, and we would like to be with Ethiopia from the very beginning. We'd like to grow with the country. We'd like to grow with the researchers. We'd like to grow with the uh, healthcare sector. This is a big country, uh, great economic prospects, great potential, and um, our organization has always um, taken lead uh, going into novel markets and building uh, capacity and uh, working with governments and researchers, institutes to uh, uh, take um, their work to the next level. We're very, very um, um, optimistic about the future of uh, genomics, genetics, research in Ethiopia and in the Horn of Africa, really. We, we have more than, than, than 250 platforms installed throughout Africa, the Middle East, um, Asia. Uh, in Ethiopia, we already have one machine that was uh, purchased by a uh, research institute. Um, our presence now directly with our own office allows us to service this machine, provide the consumables so that they can run um, uh, with it the necessary research and work uh, required. Uh, in the Horn of Africa, we have um, uh, quite a lot of instruments. Uh, uh, in Nairobi, we have in Tanzania, we have in Uganda, uh, we also have... Uh, uh, instruments uh, a little bit to the west in Africa. We have a lot of collaboration with Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia, when there was an outbreak at one point uh, there, um, a viral up outbreak, it was very, very important for us to be there. And in the rest of Africa, to the north, in, um, in Egypt, in North uh, French Africa, we have many, many instruments. Your question about what will this do to the research or the the uh, the healthcare uh, uh, services in Ethiopia, whether you are uh, working with a human sample or an agricultural or um, a, uh, an animal sample, the um, the code of life is uh, the nucleic acid of that sample, be it a DNA or an RNA, and this is like the book of life uh, for that organism. And the instruments that we provide with our partners from Illumina allow you uh, to read that book, as simple as that. So it's very, very easy without reading, without reading that book of life related to an organism. This could be the coffee beans, the renowned coffee beans of Ethiopia. And it could be a new virus uh, uh, or a new pathogen that have emerged somewhere uh, in a population. Once you read that, you're able to compare it to the textbooks. These are the reference genomes available. And you're able to recognize if this is uh, dangerous or if this is a good thing that has developed. You also are able to improve your crops, whether it's uh, coffee or it's maize or it's sugar or the animal breeds, be it bovine, be it um, um, equine or any other breed that the country may have. And you're able to detect pathology. With the pathology in the human uh, genetics, it is very, very important. Um, man, 20, 30 years ago, it was anybody who probably have a pathology of some sort would get a medication from the doctor based on the signs and symptoms. If you have a fever, you will get a paracetamol. If you have um, a sore throat, you may, um, of a, a bacterial source, you may have an antibiotic. But as we, as science develops, it's moving towards the area of translational genomics and precision medicine, which means we need to find out exactly what code does that pathology have so we can give an accurate, uh, precise medication for that. This takes very important, um, high importance and a very important role when it comes to uh, uh, um, fatal or life-threatening diseases like cancer, for example. Uh, the medications for cancer are quite expensive and it is a big burden on the national budgets for uh, national economies for the countries. So we need to make sure that what 
the medications that the patients are taking are accurate and effective. To do that, you must read the code of the disease. And with our partners at Illumina, we're able to provide uh, the instruments, the consumables, that allow you to read the code behind these uh, diseases and uh, uh, pathologies or research work that you're doing. Ethiopia is, is positioned to, to lead that work because of the ethnic diversity you have here, because of the ancient genome that you have in the big genetic pool in the country. Um, uh, and I think that uh, uh, this is an area that deserves a lot of attention from all of us. Uh, we as partners in the technology, the government, the, um, and the, um, the researchers, the clinicians in this part of the world, and we are here to support and help, and I will do everything in my capacity, in my organization's capacity, to support this growth. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much.